Hey, if you're a stock or option trader and you want to get into doing covered calls, which we've talked about in the past, I'm going to show you a way to use the covered call more efficiently. Use your cash more efficiently, spend less money up front, get better return on your investment. It's called the poor man's covered call. So if you never heard about it, you might want to stick around and watch this video because it's kind of an eye-opening way to perform the covered call strategy. So if you want to learn how to use the strategy, stick around and watch this video and let's go. All right, everyone, Lee Lowell here from smartoptionseller.com, trying to help the community here, the trading community, making these free videos. So what we're talking about today is the Smart Option Seller Guide to the Poor Man's Covered Call. So if you're interested in selling covered calls, you're gonna wanna watch this video because it will provide you a, a different way to use options with the covered call strategy. Now, for those of you that might know, Selling a covered call is all about getting some income into your account and setting a potential sell point for stocks that you have in your account. So let's just quickly go over what selling a covered call is all about, and then we'll dive into the strategy of how to use the poor man's covered call. So for those in the know, or maybe you don't know, if you have 100, at least 100 shares of stock in your account, you can sell one call option contract against those 100 shares. So what does that do for you? Well, let's just say you bought some shares at whatever price and, and in the future you're looking to potentially sell those shares. What you can do is by selling a single call option contract, what you're doing is obligating yourself to sometime in the future potentially selling your shares at a higher price than where you purchased those shares. And by selling the call option contract, you're going to be paid cash up front because someone is willing to pay to take your shares away from you sometime in the future. And in order to take those shares away from you, they're willing to pay you some money up front. That's called the option premium. So let's just say you bought a stock at 100 and you're looking to sell the shares at 120. You can sell a $120 strike call option. And what that does is it enters you into an obligation to sell your shares at 120 if the stock in fact rises to 120 above sometime in the future. And if it does rise to 120 above, then you sell your shares at 120 and you lock in your $20 per share gain plus the money that the call option buyer paid you up front. So a lot of people use the selling covered calls as a way to, you know, create some current cash flow and to sell and to place a potential sell point in the future for your shares. But a lot of people don't actually want to sell their shares. They want to hold on to their shares forever. So they'll sell a call option at a strike that's way, way up high where the stock really has no chance of getting to. And if the and if the stock doesn't rise that far, the option contract will expire. You get to keep your shares. You get to keep the money that the call option buyer paid you up front. And now you can sell another call option for another expiration down the road. So what a lot of people like to do is they like to just keep rolling their covered calls throughout the year, hoping that the stock doesn't rise up to the price where they have to relinquish their shares. So actually you can do that and it's worked pretty great for a lot of people where you sell the call option, the stock doesn't rise, option expires, sell another call option, get the money, stock doesn't rise that far, option expires, and you just wash rinse and repeat and you do this over and over again and you're creating this income stream for yourself so that's the gist of how the covered call strategy works now if you don't have a hundred shares in your account already from some prior purchase long ago you can do what's called right here let's look at this a traditional covered calls used with 100 shares of stock that you already have in your account or what you can do is what's called a buy right where you buy the 100 shares and you sell the covered call at the same time so let's just say you don't have any shares in your account what you can do is enter into a buy right where you buy 100 shares and you sell a call option all in the same transaction a lot of people do that as well but Let's talk about what the poor man's covered call is. So instead of actually having 100 shares in your account or going out and buying 100 shares, the poor man's covered call substitutes that stock with a deep in the money call option. Okay, so really what you're gonna be doing is that you're gonna be buying a call option, a really deep in the money call option, and I'll explain what that is in a second, and you're gonna sell 
the covered call against that purchased call. So it's really an option spread. You're going to be buying a call option at one strike and you're going to sell another call option at a different strike price that acts as the covered call. But the thing about the, the deep in the money call option is that it pretty much is going to act just like the stock itself. So instead of shelling out the money to buy 100 shares of stock, you're going to buy a call option instead that's going to cost you a lot less money. Okay, so let's just kind of go through our smart option seller guide to the poor man's covered call. We'll scroll down here a little bit. So poor man's covered call substitutes the stock with a deep in the money call option. And the stock price and the, and the call option, the deep in the money call option, will pretty much move in lockstep. So you know you're going to get all, most of the price appreciation that the stock would have with your purchase call option, okay? Now, if, you ever, if you've ever bought call options before, you know that they cost a lot less than purchasing 100 shares of stock. And we always talk about 100 shares of stock because each option contract consists of 100 shares of stock. So we need to compare apples to apples, all right? So we're going to look at an, 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 an actual uh, option trade here, which is an example only, it's not a live recommendation, of how to substitute the deep in the money call option for the stock, all right? So, and for those of you that might not know, what, you know, what is a deep in the money call option? What does that actually mean? A deep in the money call option is a strike price that's situated well below the current price of the stock. So if the stock price is at 100, you can buy, let's say, a $60 or a $70 strike call option, which is situated well below the current price of the stock, okay? And along with that deep in the money comes what's called the delta. The delta tells you pretty much how much the option price will move in conjunction with the stock price moving. So a deep in the money call option, and what I'll explain a little bit more here, is that we always want to look for a delta of at least 90%. Deltas range from zero to 100. So we want to focus on a delta of at least 90%. What does that mean? That means the option price will move at least 90% of whatever the stock price does. That means you're getting all that movement. Your option price is going to move 90% of what the stock price does, but the option is going to cost you a lot less money to purchase it versus the 100 shares of stock. So let's just go and look at our example of how this buying, doing the poor man's covered call works versus the traditional covered call. Okay, so we're going to look at AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, as our um, stock that we're interested. So let's just say you know, either you had 100 shares of AMD in your account or you were going to buy 100 shares and sell a call at the same time. We're going to look at that versus buying the poor man's covered call instead. So if we were to buy 100 shares of AMD, AMD, when I took, the, you know, started writing this, this cheat sheet up, the screen capture, AMD was trading around $106.30. So if you were to buy 100 shares of AMD at 106.30, that would be a cash outlay upfront of $10,630, okay? That's how much it would cost you to buy the 100 shares. And then the traditional to sell the covered calls, let's just say you wanted to sell those shares potentially at $130 sometime in the future. So what you would do, we're right here, you're gonna sell the October 20th, 2023, 130 strike calls for a dollar two per contract. Okay, when you sell that call option, now you're obligating yourself to potentially sell your shares at 130, if and only if AMD rises to 130 above by October. And you're gonna get paid a dollar two per contract, which is actually $102. Whatever you see in option price, you have to multiply it by 100, the option multiplier, to, to get the full or realize what the full actual cash value is. So you sell the October 130 calls for a dollar two per contract. You're going to get $102 for your obligation to sell your shares at 130. Okay. So at this time, you know that your your effective selling point is 130 plus the dollar two that you received. So right here, if AMD closes above 130, you'll be forced to sell your shares at an effective price of $131.02. So you take the strike price of 130 and you add the dollar two to it. So that's your $131.02 would be your sell point if you had to relinquish your shares, okay? 
The profit in this would be $24.72 game. And that would be a um, uh, gain of, that would be a gain of $2,472 with a return on investment of 23.3%, which as we all know, if you want to figure out what your return on investment is, you take your gain divided by your initial investment. So your $24.72 per dollar gain divided by the 106.30 buy price gives your return of 23.3%. Not bad. So if AMD rises to 130 or above, you're going to have to relinquish your shares. You bought them at 106.30. You get to sell them at 131.02. And here's all the dollar gains. Now let's take a look at buying the deep in the money call option instead of actually buying the 100 shares of stock and how it saves you a lot less money up front and it's going to increase your return on investment by a much greater amount. So instead of buying the 100 shares, we're going to buy a January 19th, 2024. Remember, this is not a real trade. This is just an example. We're going to buy the $80 call, which um, in this case had an 88 point five delta and we're going to show you the option chain as well and it's going to cost thirty dollars and twenty cents per contract which is a three thousand twenty dollar outlay of cash okay so let's quickly go to the the option chain for amd here now this is my interactive brokers um, option chain here and uh, this is the broker that i use if you want a little information about interactive brokers down in the description below the video is a link there you can check that out so amd here's the the tab now this is uh, making this video before the market opened so these are prices left over from yesterday uh, but but there is some pre-market activity so amd stock is trading 106.61 right now when i took the screen capture yesterday it was about 106.30 so some of these option prices are going to look a little different so here's the january 19th 2024 options now you want to make sure that <clears throat> you have the delta column in your option chain. Now, obviously the market's not open, so none of the delta figures were um, are showing up right now. But yesterday, when I or when I was making this video before the market opened um, this morning, here's the 80 call. So what you would do is you want to make sure you see what the call's worth. It it closed at thirty dollars and forty seven cents. But as I said when I was making the screen capture. The value was about $30.20 per contract. We always want to look at the current bid ask price to get us the most accurate prices. So whenever you're looking for your option um, prices, you know, make sure you have the delta column here because when you buy the deep in the money call option, like I said, you want that delta to be as close to 90% as possible. Now, this the 80 call right here was had about an 88.5 delta, round up towards 90. That that's the option that we chose. Now we also looked at selling the October um, 130 calls, which yesterday um, closed at about 98 cents per contract. At the time of the screen capture, was trading for about a dollar two. So that's I just want to show you how where we get these numbers from. So let's go back to um, our cheat sheet here. So we're looking at buying the deep in the money call option instead of the stock. So right here, we're going to buy January 19th, 2024, $80 call. Now you can choose any expiration you want. Typically when you're doing covered calls and you own the stock, you want to have the stock for the long term. So you want to pretty much go out to an expiration date that meets your, you know, your expectations of how long you may hold the stock. In this case, we're going out to January. You can look at something further out. You could look at something closer in expiration that's entirely up to you whatever you want to choose so the 80 call which had an 88.5 delta for thirty dollars and twenty cents per contract costs us three thousand twenty dollars and we'll also sell that same 130 call for dollar two per contract against the option that we're buying which is the 80 call okay so the cost basis for the 80 call, you always want to know what your cost basis is. The 80 call is going to be $110.20. That's your cost basis if you were, you know, if you're buying the, if you want to figure out what your eventual return is going to be, you need to know what your cost basis is. So you take the $80 call value and you add the $30.20 that you pay for the contract and it gives you your 
your cost basis of $110.20. So if you were to buy the actual shares, you'd buy them at $106.30. But by buying the calls, it's going to cost you a little bit more. Your cost basis is $110.20. Okay. And um, so that's, that's where you start. And now you sell the call option. And now you have a purchase call, the 80 call that you purchased, and the $130 call that you've sold against it. Now, if AMD rises above 130, follow me here, the net gain, the overall net gain is going to be $20.82 per contract or per share on the call option, which is $2,082 and a return on investment of 69%. So how do we find out those numbers? Your gain of $20.82 over your cost of $30.20 and 20 cents is a return on investment of 69%. Now, some of you might not understand how do you figure out what the gain is on the call option. So remember, if you bought the 80 call and AMD finishes above 130, there's a $50 gain right there. Just pretend you know, you're buying your call, you get to buy the call at 80 when you exercise the shares, and you sell them at 130, that's a $50 gain, but you have to subtract out the $30.20 that you paid for the call up front. Okay, so eventually your, your net gain is gonna be $20.82 per share, which is $2,082, and your return on investment is 69%. So buying the deep in the money call option saves you over $7,600 up front. You know, if you were to buy the shares, that would cost you $10,600. If you buy the deep in the money call option, it only costs you $3,020. So you're saving yourself over $7,600 in upfront cash layout by buying the deep in the money call option instead. In effect, you're lowering your overall risk of $7,600 as well. Let's just say AMD craps out and goes to zero, goes bankrupt. You're gonna be saving yourself $7,600 of losses by buying the deep in the money call option instead. And you're still getting almost all that same movement, all that same bang for your buck that the stock would get. You know, if the stock goes from 110 to 130, you know, there's that $20 gain right there for the stock. But the same thing for, I'm sorry, if you buy at 106 up to 130, there's about a $2,400 gain. And the deep in the money call option is going to make a $2,000 gain. So you're making, you know, a couple hundred dollars less with the deep in the money call option, you know, as long as the stock moves above 130. But you have to remember in that trade off of making, you know, about $400 less in profit, you're saving yourself $7,600 in upfront cost and $7,600 less risk in the trade if AMD craps out, okay? So here we go, $7,600 less downside risk if AMD drops to zero, less risk and better return on investment. The deep in the money call option, you're gonna get a 69% return on your investment versus the, what do we get for the, um, the if you're just, buying the shares instead, you're going to have that 23.3% that return on investment. So less money up front, better return on investment, less risk to the downside. With a 90% delta option, you're going to get 90% of whatever the stock moves. So in my opinion, it's so much better to have less money on the line, less risk on the line, better return on investment. The, the dollar gains are only a couple hundred dollars difference. I'd rather have that and have all these other benefits. Okay, so you make sure you use the 90% delta in this case to substitute your stock and use the deep in the money call option instead. It's just a better way, a more efficient way to use your money. So I'm gonna go back up to the very first line here. The goal is to always use your funds more efficiently with options contracts compared to using the stock. That's why we love options so much because you can you can use your money so much more efficiently. You know what you do? You take that seventy six hundred dollars that you're saving and put it into other trades or put it into you know the five percent money market funds. Earn that five percent interest these days. So it's so much better 
to use options. And in this case, you're using a deep in the money call, substituting that for the stock. And this is what's called the poor man's covered call. Why is it called the poor man's covered call? Because as a poor man, you have to put up less money to buy the shares of stock. You're, you're saving yourself $7,600 that a poor man doesn't have. Okay, so that's really why it's called the poor man's covered call. And you're getting all the same benefits. You're getting appreciation of the stock with the call option. And you're you're able to take in money of spelling, by selling the call option. Now, if that call option expires worthless, if the October option expires worthless, that's fine. You're still holding your January deep in the money call option. So now you can sell a November call option. And if that one expires worthless, then you can sell a December call option against your January call option. So you can keep rolling it. So that's why I say you can go out further in time. You can buy a June of 2024 deep in the money call option if you want. It's going to cost you a little bit more money because the further out in time you go, the more it costs. But you can still make up for that by rolling the options for a few more months instead of using the January 24 call option. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so that's really the whole gist of it. That's the lesson for today is that you want to use a deep in the money call option as a substitute for the stock. It's called the poor man's covered call. All right, so let's quickly go to our, our website here, um, smartoptionseller.com and talk about um, you know what we do here at the Smart Options Seller. We are put option sellers. We love selling put options. We love selling options in general. So go to our website, get our free put selling basics ebook. If you don't know anything about what put selling is, get this book right here. It'll tell, tell you everything about it, why we love it so much. Scroll down here at our website, smartoptionseller.com. Here it is called Put Selling Basics. Scroll down, put your name and email address in here, and we'll send you an email with a link to download the copy. We also have our put selling intensive webinar coming up. You can click on the link right here, get some information about it. Also at the Smart Option Seller, here's our services tab. We run a couple newsletters. We have our coaching services, all these things to help you get your option trading to the next level. I'm going to put a couple other videos on the screen. We're going to I'll put a deep in the money call option video on the screen. I'll put a put selling video on the screen down in the description below. Check out some of the links that I have. Um, the broker that I use, some technical analysis books that I recommend, some other websites that I recommend. Take some time scrolling through the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. If this has been helpful, if you got value out of this, I do this free for the community. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Like the video. Let's get YouTube, the algorithms to start showing this, these videos to a lot more people. And uh, send me an email. I'll always answer your emails. All right. So hope it's been helpful and uh, just remember the lesson today, poor man's covered call. All right, everyone, this is Lee Lowell signing off.